In 1867, history was made when two cowboys inherited a landmark of the early West, the Cheyenne Social Club. Well, you're now the sole owner and proprietor of the Cheyenne Social Club, Mr. Hammond. What kind of business does it do, Mr. Willoughby? It turns a dollar or two. No, I, I mean... Pardon me, yes? miss. Uh, could you direct me to the Cheyenne Social Club? How dare you! It's what stood prairie fire and Indian attacks and the first ounce of gold discovered in this territory was spent wisely and well at the Cheyenne Social Club. Welcome to the Cheyenne Social Club. Ring for service, Sarah Jean, one ring. John O'Hanlon, we are so happy to have you here. Pauline, two rings. It's so nice to make your acquaintance, Johnny. Harley, you don't suppose that... I mean, you don't think this is a whole other... You don't believe it, do you? They were just a couple of simple, hard-working cowboys who didn't know what they were getting into when they inherited the Cheyenne Social Club. Pauline, uh, I wondered how long it was going to take you. I beg pardon? Cheyenne's got to be the friendliest town in the West. You don't care what you step on, do you, Harley? Did you ever in your whole life see anything like it? But no matter how good the service, there were always complaints. What do you want, O'Hanlon? The man that beat up one of my... One of my girls. They tell me his name's Corey Bannister, and they tell me I can recognize him by a streak of yellow down his back. I'm Bannister. complaints. Hey, you heaven! Come on out! We don't have us a party! I'm sorry, I don't like crowds! If one of us can get inside, we've got him. That you, Harley? It's me, John. You all right? Just fine! Harley, why are you with me? John, I've rode with you for ten years now. Here you've been with me for ten years, and I don't even know why. How come you never asked before? Don't know. Rolling on, just like a rolling stone. Looking for some land to call my own. Riding on. It's time to settle down. Cheyenne might be the town to stop this long.